What up, what up, my people? How's it going? You know, we're here. Yes, yes, sitting back. Having a cold one here. Ready to start up this new one. The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Yeah, yeah, guys. Like I said, I got a lot of horror games. We got so many to come. I mean, I got so many that the line is long. And the last two games I did not complete. Um, Tormented Souls. I did not complete and phobia year year so those uh what am i tell so those two games i did not complete but it was like uh it was it was it was it was time to change it it was lasting way too long you know so i'm gonna try to go through these games as much as i can but uh, a lot of the times it, it it may it may get into a part where it's like a dead end where if you guys saw enough of the game and you was interested in it, then I advise you to download it and check it out. I'm, uh, I mean, there's other YouTubers here. Yeah, yeah, right. We're gonna check it out, bro. This is dope. It's, it's, it's so far, you know. I mean, I haven't. We're gonna start it together. But uh, if you guys are interested in these games, y'all could check other YouTubers out and see the full walkthrough. Um, but I mean, I advise that y'all stay with me. Um, but if I don't finish it and walk through, then uh, yeah, you know, do what you gotta do. But the games are here to check out. And I'm just waiting for like three more people to show up, see if they go through, but so we can start it off. Mateo in the house, let's just do this, bro. I'm gonna start it up. Let's see how many people show up. I'm gonna let some people know right now on the Twitter channel and that I am online and ready to throw down on the new chapter here. I don't. Just to update, guys, I've been not been streaming, been streaming on Twitch though, because I do storyline games on Twitch, and then I do horror games on YouTube. That's that's the kind of deal I have, and uh, I've been doing a lot of storyline games, so I've been streaming over there. But yeah, yeah, we're about to start this. Oh, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. See where we go, how we started. The story you're about to live is shaped by its details, observing everything. Oh, okay, one of those games. You gotta look at everything. Yeah, so. My dear Nicole. Face with a dragon, one must. What's that? Bandish, sword, and shield. Sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. Okay. I always thought of you as a fighter who faced with the toughest challenges, as capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight. What's it say? And hero heroically. We've we never talked about what happened with your father, but now I need to tell you a few things before the illness separates us. Oh crap. Are you controlling it? Yep, I'm controlling it. Oh my god, this thing looks crazy. It's like a top view. Oh crap. Can I walk through the people? Push push the people out the way. I'm controlling it. The affair your father had with a young woman nine years ago. Ensuring suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. Oh, I mean, like both. You kids to conform under the Christmas mistletoe in 1985. You marched against abortion in your first year of college. What the heck is Look at that rain. The detail looks crazy so far. Yo, it's got a weird feeling, bro. I'm holding. I never thought. What's it? Hey, what up? What up? Emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used to it. I use it to endure pain. Oh, we're 
Okay, no doubt, no doubt. I don't know, this mic sucks. I need to get a new mic anyway. I want you to be free from the past once and for all. This is why I want you to do exactly as I said. Sell our hotel. Sell our hotel? I guess she's reading the letter and her responses are on the bottom. The hotel is my family and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mrs. Jenkins, to give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone long, uh, gone, long gone, whatever. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers, and tell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off of your university loan and give the rest to the, I don't know, girl family. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth, but that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours, love. There's nothing else worth living for, fighting for, or giving for. Believe me, I love you above all else, your mother. I the mother died. Unless she's at that funeral, you know, that she's walking to. She's driving Elena National Forest Mountain, 1993. The bad oh, weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winters in Lewis and Clout County? Remind me of Silent Hill. from Montana. Oh, it's loading. I'm like, what? I thought it was like trying to select something. Can, I want, can y'all hear me? Yeah, the storyline so far kind of lit. See what's going on so far. What's what's the beginning of this? All right. The smell. That's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Mom's car. Leonardo's motorbike, okay. The map. Flashlight, that's what I do with it. 
Let's go inside the house through this, or whatever this is, hotel. Flooding? Oh, okay. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Every time the phone rings, it never ends good. Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh... Very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger, you poor old folks from Holy Dreamer. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. Okay. Mm, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking now. I know he said you gotta go to that room, the house where it has a key and other things. But sometimes you look around, you find some random stuff. Is he into like exploring? Dining table, he said. Can you go? Okay. It's like you live real life, like you was in a hotel, what are you gonna do? Look around, right? What's good? My tail was just here, huh? here. This is what's going on in this place, man. It's quiet. Mm. 
Nice little hotel room, I guess. Nothing, I don't know, on air, I guess. Nice bathtub. <laughs> Is that a Colgate? Colgate? Colgate. Colgate. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. What am I supposed to be fun? Music world. Master Suite? Oh, okay, let's check the Master Suite out. Pills? No, oh, no. Damn, that toilet's dirty. Holy cow, what happened here? Someone was taking pills like crazy? The cat? Dad's room. Yep. Dad's room. It's a big ass master suite. Nothing. What's that noise? This is snow. Whose room is that? The cold room. Oh, my own room? Oh. God, everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left ten years ago. It's so... Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. Look at that lava lab, thank you. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. <laughs> I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. Okay. Progression, progression, got a key now. I she had a nice room, man. The kid's room, yeah, when she was a kid, dang. There's a mess over here. Crap. I'm calling now. What a damn phone. I hear the phone, but I don't see it. Oh, here it goes. No? No, the phone? What the hell? I saw the phone right here, but. How's the phone? In here? Can't find the phone, that's why I will answer, I'll find it. Not sure. Oh, is it a room? What the heck? What is this, a joke? Hello? 
Can, can, can you hear me? You hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, 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 this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... whatchamacallit? I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But, but the storm... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. I... You... I... Bye. Man, she's rude. How the heck did that phone ring, but then the other phone down here that's connected to the same This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. Yeah, for real. This is a hot. You heard that noise? Oh shit! What was that? Press to run. Why am I running? Why am I running? Fuck. What the hell is that noise? Oh shit, it's dark in here. Oh my god, what's going on? Holy hell. What the hell is that noise? Ah! Crap. I can't see anything. I'm <laughs> freaking nervous as hell, bro. <laughs> Hello? Hey, you still there? Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Uh, uh the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Uh, yeah? Nicole, uh, uh, listen, if your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you, not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that, I, I just... Uh, Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! What can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. I mean, freaking so many doors and so many ways to go. Dad's office? Hmm. I came in here already. Yeah. Go down here. Laundry. The 
boiler. Phone again. It's a fire alarm? Got some tools ready? Nothing on over here, alright. That was annoying, that was weird. This that was going off, that fire thing. back up to the first the second floor and see how I'll go back to the main entrance to get the hell out of here because I think she wants to leave you don't want to stay stuck in here I don't blame her empty hotel I'll be freaked out I'm gonna check everything out though see what's Anything that I'm missing. Oh no. Damn, it's a shitty ass area. left you a nine more flashlight you have to work a little to make some light Ben what flashlight
take back so I take back the car and get away from here before the storm. Okay, so I gotta get out of here. Okay, I'm just exploring. I'm not even following the mission. Uh, let me go back to the car and get the hell out of here. I don't want to walk. I was just exploring. I thought I could just explore and see what goes on, but I'm just wasting time, to be honest with you. Let's do what the objective says to do, and that's how we'll follow it. Place is pretty quick though. Easier to get lost in here. I wish this lady going faster, that's what's damn trouble. How the hell do I look? Can't see a damn thing. Dark as hell. the garage. Damn. I can't even find the stupid garage. I don't remember where the hell my car is. I don't I can't see it's dark here. Where am I right now? Uh, what is this? I know I don't know where the exit is. Huh? Ballroom, restroom, no. Museum, that's the second floor. This is the first floor, right? Here's a garage. Where am I, though? Main floor. This is the basement where the garage is. So how the hell did I get to the freaking... Yeah, bro. 
All right, let's see. Gotta be somewhere down here. This looks like the main entrance. Hmm. I'm correct. I oh, know this game is. Oh, okay. I remember I came through here. Here we go. Here we go. The basement is down here. Get the hell out of here. Where's the car? There's a boiler room. Now here's the car. Yep. Get the hell out of here. My car. Let's go, baby. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. Maybe someone... <sighs> no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it. I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones. Uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Oh, fine. I have to open the garage door. Hope it's working. Oh, this has got ice. Of course it's another one. You run the engine, bitch. The garage doesn't start. Maybe leaving... What's this? Maybe Irving knows how to open it. Talk to me. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. The stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place 10 years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. To-do list. There's nothing on the to-do list. Uh -huh. Anything useful? No. No keys, no garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ. It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, 
I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. Yeah, I can't safe. believe it. I'm stuck. Shit. Mm -mm. Day one. <laughs> I can't last 48 hours. I can't even last 24 hours. You got 19 hours. There's no way. Hello? Hello? You still there? Is that, Is a, that joke? a joke? Yeah. yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. nothing. I mean, I just, just wanted, wanted to say, to say you, got you got everything you need to have a smooth have night. night. But you should take a look, take a look at the main power, power system. system. You know, yeah. no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days five might not days seem like much, much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a uh, good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I just... I'll call if I need you. Power line if you to reach trying to mean power line. Let's see. I can go on the top. Hmm. Attic, you see. Irving, it's, it's me again, again obviously. obviously. I could I really, really use a shower. shower. Sure, sure, you'll, you'll just, just need to turn, turn on the furnace, furnace for the hot water. Hot water. Oh, my mom well, never wanted me to go down, down there, there, but I love that place. Full of little spiders. A real, a real country, country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, I don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. <laughs> Starving suddenly seems like an acceptable option. Irving. Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Who? Old farting ghost. Wait, what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghost to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well, that's long gone. How's it going? It looks oh, real kind of fun. complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess. 
What does the pressure gauge read? Huh? The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like 220? Oh. I don't like the sound of oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. The pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up! Huh? Nothing. Just talking to an old friend. Farting ghost. <laughs> Top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> uh, now you've got hot water. You oh have my no God. idea. What a joke like that. It's cringe. Just doing my job. And spooky. We joked about ghosts and horror and murder. Alright, I'm gonna go take a shower now. Can I go to the thing? Okay. Let's just go upstairs and Jeez, give me some done. good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, my old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it? Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just being nice. It's endearing. But I'm not 16 anymore. There's lots of other rooms in the hotel. No, I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. Alright. You know, take a shower and go to sleep, that's what she's gonna do. Is nothing gonna happen? Nothing's ever that simple, you know? Hold. Oh. Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey! Listen, I just wanted to say, if I came across as obnoxious... No problemo. <laughs> I get it. It almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. No, no, I, From the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, in all that rush, well... Right, I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna chill in my room with the posters of my favorite bands, playing my old bass, totally unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. I wanted to thank you. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for uh, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life then. Wow. It's just... Your job. I know. Night. Night. Is that flirting to me? I don't know. It's like a uh, beginning stages of foam. Phone tap. I'm gonna tap that phone so I tap that ass. Yeah. Okay, let me go to my room. Is that scared? Oh, just this hotel. You it's so creepy being in a hotel by yourself. Like, we want you. What she's gonna do? Old friend. The Atari. Floppy this day. Woo. Well, you know about that, Mattel. You wasn't even born, bro. Let's see what else we got. What is this? Floppy this again. Jeez. VHS. Binoculars. Yeah, all kind of old school stuff. Yeah. You in your bed then, girl? 
That's like not dirty. It's crazy. I'm dead tired. I'll sleep in my own bedroom. Okay, I'm here in the master sleep. What now? I'm gonna grab the guitar. Yep. It says that days go on, you know, it's going to get worse, right? It's starting smooth and all chill. And it's like, oh, you know you're going to get it any moment. Let's go. This, this feels like it could be a really good game. Or it could be a really epic failure. Who knows? Morning. Good morning, Good morning, Nicole. Get any sleep? I slept like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. So, any news? Uh, uh, what? Is the situation on the roads any better? Just uh, give me a sec to get it together. Maybe I need some coffee. I didn't get any shut eye last night and. Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something and. But. I. You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon, probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory. What do you want to do? I'm better off thinking about primary needs. <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat first, then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Deal. I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. Oh, the pantry. What the hell is the pantry? Oh, it's the church here? That's creepy. Fridge, I guess fridge. Oh, kitchen, right? I guess that would be the pantry being the kitchen? I guess, right? Let's go to the pantry. I'm just surprised I don't have no damn flashlight for this. This is dark as hell. Nicole? Irving, uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Mm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. Okay, let's see. How to get to the kitchen? I was thinking more like mold, bacteria, and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, so now I'm in the dining room. So, I can go up through here. There should be a kitchen around here. No pantry. Kitchen looks dirty as well, well not dirty, but the walls are pretty damn dirty.
There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. Molded tomato. Freezer. Oh, a freezer around here or somewhere, huh? Alright, let's keep on walking. Where the hell's that freezer? That's a damn freezer. Hey, you kidding? forgot there might be a problem with the fridge door just make sure it doesn't I can close. tell what it would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in a oh, holy shit I'm a freaking space cadet yeah I could have died in there yeah the microwave could be used to the heat. Uh-huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney.
About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. Well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word, and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. Damn, she's such a bitch. She's trying to be helpful and be friendly. She treats him like that, right? Damn. Crazy. All right, well, let's keep on going to see where we're gonna go. How many people was in there? How many people are still with me here? Let's see. Okay, let's keep it going. We're going to the second floor, apparently. Oh, what the heck? It's a nice man. Have a cross inside the toilet. Go to. Let's go to the. Since this second floor, all right. I'm still here, I know that. So we're taking it, I'm gonna save it. We'll continue on tomorrow. On the second floor, right? Hmm. 
Nothing there. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage, too. Yeah. Man, that'd be nice to be on the mountains like that. I don't know, man. Look, I would love to experience something like that. I can't read it. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the west wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? You there? You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? Tell me something. What are you hiding from me? I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? How should I have known that, huh? I don't know. I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. Yes, sir. This is going to get pretty serious. And stuff is unraveling as we speak right now. As you can tell, little by little, stuff is coming to first aid. How many people still here with me? You want me to keep on? I still got some I still got some energy in me. I got like probably another 10, 15 minutes to go. Alright, well, she can't get in there. I guess. Mold. Can't get in there. What's that? You heard a noise? I know I heard a noise. I have a key for the staff. I thought it was in the world for that, but I guess I don't. Oh shit, the phone again. Where? Where's the phone? Oh my god, maybe that my phone rings, it's creeping me out. Shit. 
Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? What? You think you can call my house and threaten me? Come tell me to my face, asshole! Whoa. Oh, shit. It's getting good. Woohoo. Oh, shit. Who she's calling asshole? She don't even know who it is. How you call a stranger an asshole? You don't even know who it is. Oh, my God. What is just something pops up? I turn the corner. Boom. Pops up. I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? It, it was a bad connection. What did they want? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. What do you mean? Sounds creepy. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, a genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked. Every one of them. I know what I went through. No one else. Fuck them. Damn. Oh, shit. This chick is kind of rough, man. What's she telling everybody? Fuck them, fuck this, fuck that, fuck everywhere. But she don't know who she's about to run into. Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? Nicole, it's Irving. Oh, sorry. I must have fallen asleep. I haven't slept like that since I was a kid. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? Leonard, maybe. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Oh, I wonder why that doesn't surprise me. The electricity generator could go bust. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We need to do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if you left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, on my way. All right, guys. We're gonna keep having fun. We're gonna continue this on tomorrow. As always, subscribe, follow, spread that word. 
we're gonna keep going. This is getting good. And it's gonna only get better. So stay with me. Put the thumbs up for all notifications. So once I get on, y'all be notified. Also check out my Twitch channel. You'll see all the storyline games there. But we're gonna keep going with this. This game looks fun. I'm already I'm motivated. But I have to go to work tomorrow, so guys, I can't stay all night with y'all. Wish I could. Thanks again. This is Arc Radio saying goodbye. One love. Peace.